Hey, what up, everybody? This is Freak, an audio commentary for WCReplays.com. Copyrighted by WCReplays.com. Uh, yeah. For some reason, I'm really tired. Shockingly, because it's 3:30 a.m. Eh, whatever. So, I decided because I posted in the staff forums, hey, I need to make an audio. What should I make it on? By the way, get it to the one minute mark. Okay. Um, what should I make it on? And I was like, um, this, that, or the other thing. I'm like, let's do the other thing. So here it is. Uh, yeah. So, Equals is the map. Aka, aka, how we do. Possibly the worst screen name ever. And I'm in, uh, by comparison, Top Gun Bex, the best screen name ever. So, these crazy Europeans have very odd screen names. Some of them are terrible. Some of them are amazing. Whatever. So, Maps Echo Wiles. One minute mark. Alright, if you're not there, too bad. So let's unpause in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Okay. So I'm doing typical base build. I'm not off the left hand side. My opponent's orc right hand side. Shocking, I know. What? Farseer? Oh my god. Um, so right now what I'm doing is pretty much the best base build you can do against like a blade master. Um, my altar and moonwall each block two trees. That's basically the best you can ever hope to do. Um, you're going to notice there's a lot of trees in this map that are blocked simply by virtue of their placement. The one at this corner, right above the Tree of Life, you see there's a wisp there, and the leftmost wisp really, that corner just above and to the right of the tree, that one's blocked forever. Uh, just to the right of it, not down at all, just to the right of it, two trees over, is another one on a corner, that one's permanent blocked as well. Off to the left hand side, directly left of the Tree of Life, you'll see one tree jutting out. To the left of that tree is another wisp block, which I'll be using in a second. Basically, right now, this base build, all I'm doing is... Well, right now, I've, I've pretty much blocked passage to the back of my base, except for one avenue. Um, that's if you go just to the right of my uh, Tree of Life. I don't know really why the second moon was there, I just decided to. Um, for what it's worth, the Ancient of War is where it is, because uh, I didn't want it to get uh, jacked by a peon, basically. So you're going to see him hit the Trapper one more time, and then the Archer will hit it, and I will hit the other one from Ancient of War. Now it's going to be a mistake here, and, well, whatever, I'm just going to... Anyway, you're going to see there's a mistake, because my Ancient of War is going to jack the uh, Trapper kill. doesn't really matter, but whatever. When your opponent goes Farseer, you should do two things. One, laugh hysterically, because he actually went Farseer. Uh, secondly, make a Hunter's Hall, which is why you would laugh hysterically from the Farseer. Aw, oh, I could have wisp that out. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter. Wisp that on now, go! Nope, not happening. What else? Half the detonate because it was going to die. And then I noticed, ah, oh, crap, my AOW stole the creep. Whatevs. But it'd be some free experience. It would have been nice to have. DC. Which stands for don't care. Just just so you know. So, alright, doing some damage. Really, it's not super worth it to continually mana burn the Farseer because his only spells are Chain Lightning, aka Piece of Shit, and Spirit Wolves are, well, also a piece of shit. Since you can heal his HP and mana up really efficiently by spending roughly 80 gold total. Meanwhile, I lose, you know, moon wells. Uh, yeah, probably a bad choice, but whatever. It keeps him from summoning instantly. I'm just gonna make him summon like three seconds later. Oh, look. A wolf summon. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to get boots because boots are awesome. And I'm scouting best I can with my archers. I'm checking the most likely camps. You see there's one archer running to the right-hand side. See, so he's not there and is queued up to going towards the top. This other archer, though, will see him. I will not jack any creeps, but, you know, whatevs. He denies a wolf. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm getting a tack sword. So I run back. But he's got the typical four grunts and hero. I will right-click that hero, but he's got... LOL speed scroll and salads and shit, so I'm just gonna kill some wolves. Free experience. If I hadn't checked the creep, it'd be level 2 right now, but whatevs. I actually could have already been level 2. Doesn't matter. So you can see he's healing up, he's clarity as well. 
and he's like, oh sweet dude, I've got like this whole push going on, my opponent's trying to heal, I'm already healing my shit, let's just go, so he's gonna go towards the middle of the map, and it's sort of a double purpose right here because I'm trying to get my hero, and so is he, but because I have boots and a demon hunter, I'm wanting, I want to go Naga Sea Witch, actually, I don't go Naga Sea Witch, take it back, what I'm realizing is, hey wait, he's gonna do the same thing as before where he's gonna tower push, I'm not surprised, mostly because I see him in the middle of the map, like, hey guys, I'm in the middle of the map. Um, so I know what he's doing. Now you're going to notice, though, that I pulled out one wisp back and set another one, but I'm going to send it around the trees, because I'm leap micro like that. He hits it once and actually ignores it, which is, well, probably a good idea, because he wouldn't really catch it too easily. It was just as far as here, everything else is too slow. But I'm like, oh, sup, an orc army. Hi, how's it going? Shit, I'm taking damage. Luckily, they get an evasion right there, so I can run away. Panic goes up, Breath of Fire. He should have picked up uh, some peons already. And, you know, so he could start some towers, but I guess he's just doing a standard push right now. What I had done, however, was continually make a lot of archers, as I have six right now. I have one hiding, because it was going to die otherwise. Demon Hunter, though, taking quite a bit of damage. Not happy. Uh, but my Panda and DH are right clicking. My DH taking tons of damage, which is not happy. But, yeah, my TP, whatever. Really want to get rid of that Naga Sea Witch. I th actually think I managed to kill it, which is funny because I'm not even watching my panda right now. Uh, Breath of Fire. Okay. Uh, what's going on? I, okay, I think I killed the Naga at some point, but whatever. Panda is now just running back to my base. Right click the Fire Seer. Notice he's out of salves already, so I can just right click him down and he's, he stays down. Um, but basically, this mass archer thing is what's keeping me alive right now. If he could have honestly been a lot smarter and started making towers instantly, and that would have been a much, much better push, because I'd be like, well, shit, I have just a few moonwells, I only have five, six archers, he can right-click my units really well with that naga, but my opinion is that I had played so awesomely well, plus getting the panda, basically what I was trying to do is as soon as he started building towers, I just breath of fire them, and the ones that were instantly built would have died to it and been free experience, and he would have lost a lot of money. And the ones that didn't instantly die would be at 12 hit points and die to an archer volley. So either way, I would basically the panda with Breath of Fire was the you can't tower push me, fuck you, hero choice. I could have also went Naga and just right clicked heroes all day, but since he had a speed scroll and he used it the first time, it doesn't always do what you want. It doesn't always work right, because he's at speed cap whether you have frost arrows or not. So luckily, I got a pretty sweet item. Uh, scroll the Beast, much better than like awesome super greater mana potion which would have been, you know, terrible. So he's got two styles, he's got a demo as well, he is bringing peons this time. So the real push is...